guys welcome back to my channel today i am veering away from the book content for a second to film a ulta in a target haul i literally just got back like five minutes ago so i wanted to go ahead and film everything start with ulta first since i have a little bit more from them um i just needed to kind of like re-up on some stuff and i wanted to try some new stuff to stay in ulta but i actually haven't been in there like regularly probably in over a couple of years i kind of stopped buying makeup because i have so much or i had so much um that a huge decluttering but i wanted to just try some new stuff pretty much found almost everything in the drugstore section section of the store which i'm not surprised i feel like drugstore makeup has been just like on top of its game for the past um few years now and just the way that it is organized is so shoppable um and the store wasn't busy at all so i feel like i just had a really good experience going first thing that i got is just a re-up on my anastasia brow wiz i get the color ebony um it looks brown i it's more kind of a softer black maybe it looks more brown but it definitely fits my hair color which is like a true black because i dye it jet black so i just got to re-up on that and then i got this morphe m165 liner angled liner or brow brush i was using my eyebrow brush today which is actually the first and only eyebrow brush i've ever had in my entire makeup journey or experience is the m165 and this is what it looks like it does have a little bit of an angle they had another one but it was a little bit more dense i kind of like for there to be some movement with my brow brush this is the one that i have been using for the entirety of me using my brows as you can see it's like coming out of the sides and stuff like that this actually came in a set um from bh cosmetics probably like seven or eight years ago um so it works fine it's just that this is starting to really kind of impact the way that the makeup is i know i could trim it um and yeah so hopefully this works because i have tried to use a different brow brush before and i always kind of just revert back to what i have i think i would buy this again if i could just buy this individually i haven't checked but i know that it came with a set of brushes that i still use so hopefully that works then i got the l'oreal voluminous slash paradise base this is kind of like the primer that goes with the like lash paradise just regular mascara um they were actually having like a discount buy one get one half off and i are i literally just got the mascara at target probably two weeks ago to get a re-up i'm not sure how focused that is um, I have been using this uh, Voluminous Primer as a primer before, and I really like it just to help my eyelashes stand up. My eyelashes are really, really curly, so this helps them straighten out. And then I kind of just put this on as a touch, but I did want to get this primer at Target, but they didn't have it, and I just wasn't going to run into Ulta. I haven't been into Ulta in a long time, so I'm going to try and use these together. I got this elf stay all day blue light micro mist setting spray they also have a stay all night one as well but um, when i looked in red kind of like the information on the back of this one says it kind of has a matte shine free finish and that's what i'm looking for my skin gets really really oily i actually had the stay all night one at one point and i remember liking it i didn't have it very long because i dropped it on the bathroom floor um, and the lid came off and then it wouldn't spray anymore so i wanted to try a new setting spray and i wasn't really trying to get a um a high-end one sometimes the only ones that i know that are high-end are like the urban decay or like a max mac fix plus and i think that the max mac would be fine but um i don't know just like from what i remember like with the urban decay setting spray or sometimes like matte setting sprays it's like they feel really really sticky and so i wasn't I don't know i just wanted to try something different i have this olaplex number no. eight bold intense moisture mask i just got this to put on my hair maybe tonight or tomorrow um it's supposed to go on your hair after you wash it with like most masks that i use you put it on i guess sometimes before sometimes after it really depends on how dirty my hair is my hair i actually just washed it um like saturday so I'll have to see, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use this. I actually got another one from Target that is just like purely moisture, like Shea Moisture. 
um, and I just wanted to do something to put on my hair before I get my hair done tomorrow so it might be this I'm not sure I'm not really sure as far as the ingredients of Olaplex but from what I know I've just heard that it does have a lot of protein in it and that is good for your hair um, I think to you know you have to be careful about protein because it can make your hair break off especially if you're natural if you have curly hair so I think that I might just go for the Shea Moisture Mask that I got from Target, which I'll show y'all. So the stuff that I got from Ulta are just lip products. Got two lip liners from NYX. I got like a slide-on lip pencil um, in the shade Urban Decay. And then I got just kind of like a standard lip pencil in the shade Espresso. Here's the swatches. They actually don't look that different, but this is Espresso, the darker one. It definitely does not glide on as well as Urban Decay, but I kind of just wanted to see... Um, I kind of just wanted something darker to give like more definition if I wanted to try. I don't ever do anything with my lips except just put on a lip gloss. So I'm trying to like incorporate my lips. Um, so I got both and yeah, I'm excited. I got literally three of the butter glosses. I got this shade's brownie drip. This is called Fudge Me. It's called Bit of Honey. This is brownie drip. This is Fudge Me and this is Honey. They're definitely not super pigmented. I mean, they are glosses um, and they have so many pretty colors. I wanted to make sure that I kind of got ones that are a little bit different. This one definitely looks a lot warmer. I think this one is more of a cooler kind of milkyish brown. And then this one kind of just looks like a standard pinky gloss which is fine they were all like five dollars so i was like okay last thing that i got from ulta is the nyx this is milky gloss which is so funny because i just described the other one that's milky this is in the shade cookies and milk it is like a more cool toned i don't even know what is that like a cooler toned pink it almost kind of pulls a little bit purplish so yeah i i don't know i feel like i mean i guess that's what this looks like i'm not sure how that's gonna pull on my skin complexion but that's what i got the lip liners for so hopefully that looks good i was just really intrigued by the this is milky to show the difference in the applicators with the butter gloss so this one definitely has more of like that doe foot kind of applicator style and then this is milky has more of like that paddle board like flat edge kind of style while we're at it i wanted to show the differences between the pencils this one um i don't think it's retractable is it i don't want to mess with it it looks like it could be retractable but i don't want to mess with it and then this one is like a true pencil that you'd have to sharpen down that's what i got at ulta i'm excited to kind of try and play with those and create like a I'm really into I know we're in like the clean girl look and I really like that look but I'm like I feel like I want to master like a glam like a summer glam it's really hard it's really hot but I I don't know like I feel like I want to like master like the really like contoured light in, in the right places the blushy summer look so for Target this is like more kind of a mix of like essentials and home stuff um i needed some more eco styler gel this i like the top the thing that they're doing with the tops now um so this is really now just more so for me to do my edges since my hair is going to be done but anytime my hair isn't done i am usually putting it up in a bun using eco styler gel i've been using the argan one and then i like the coconut oil one i would have got that one but i didn't see it and usually that's at target i have not used the green one in probably years so i'm excited to use this one and then i got the shea butter deep moisturizing mask with sea kelp and argan oil i just got a pack because i didn't want to get the full jar so i'll probably just use about half of it tomorrow i'm going to deep, deep condition my hair before i blow it out and then i'll drive down to my hair appointment so i got this hopefully can keep my hair really hydrated just got what i always get usually when i go is just like a six pack of hair ties this is what i do to put my hair in a ponytail like i don't i can't use like a like something like this as a ponytail i have to use something long because my hair is so thick so i always read up on these because they break or i lose them some wipes from the honey pot company i know that they reformulated their brand um I'm not sure about the wipes. The ingredient list does look long. I just threw away a box of these. I'm not sure if those were updated before. Um, 
like that happen or anything like that but i do like these wipes especially because these are like packs of wipes so you can just travel with them and i'm going on a trip um and so you could just literally use this to freshen up anywhere in any part of your body so i do like these and i got some whitening strips from the up and up target brand i would have got the toothpaste like crest brand or colgate brand those are like thirty dollars y'all i had no idea that was it was that expensive if y'all if like call me cheap i i'm cheap like that is so expensive but i just wanted to get these i drink coffee a lot like every day um and i don't know i just feel like what better time than to be using something like this because i'm just kind of like sitting around reading or i'm filming so i just figured that i would pick these up and give them a try i think they're supposed to stay on your teeth for like 30 minutes or something like that that might be too long but um so yeah i'm going to use these thing that i got my household cleaning is some glass cleaner by the up and up i would have got windex but i just i was like well i'm already on the target brand hustle so i might as well use this um because i just have a lot of glass that needs to be clean like that big mirror in the back and then my bathroom mirror so I went ahead and grabbed this. this is everything that I got from my little outing. I'm surprised at how successful it went. I also reordered another six months pack of contact lenses, if you guys are curious. And I tried to go to the library to get some books, but I was not able to find any of the books that I had on my list. But I had a successful Target and Ulta haul, and that is what matters. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.